Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, September 10th. I'm Michelle Griego. And I'm Lynn Keyes. Good morning. More unhealthy air faces us in the day ahead. Mary Lee has our forecast first. That's right, Len and Michelle. Now, the difference today is that smoke is not just aloft up in the higher levels of the atmosphere, but now settling down to the surface. This is a big concern because we are starting off our day with unhealthy air quality this morning. So, for the peninsula, unhealthy air for you in Redwood City, unhealthy air for sensitive groups for the South Bay and San Jose, unhealthy air for the East Bay from Fremont, Union City, Hayward, Concord, Walnut Creek, unhealthy air for you in Oakland. And in San Francisco, you can see those purple dots and that indicates very unhealthy air right over the city up through Sausalito unhealthy air for San Rafael Larkspur as well as for the rest of the North Bay Petaluma Santa Rosa Windsor Healdsburg so we have a spare the air alert that remains in effect going a record 24 days in a row with our spare the air alert for the Bay Area tracking the smoke uh, we are looking at uh, that uh, smoke coming in from the upper levels of the atmosphere into the Bay Area and because of that also, with that smoke down to the surface, we are looking at cooler daytime highs. We'll talk more about the science behind those orange skies yesterday and if we'll see any improving conditions coming up. But now let's go live to Katie Nielsen with more on the impacts of our unhealthy air quality and smoky skies. Katie? Yeah, Mary Lee, doctors very concerned about all of that particulate matter in the air, but specifically how it could impact people living right here in the Bay Area. There can be very acute um, impacts, including sudden cardiac death. Doctors say people with pre existing heart and lung disease are the ones who are most at risk. They're recommending sensitive groups, including pregnant women, children, seniors, and people with respiratory conditions like asthma, limit their time outside, stay inside just as much as possible. When they inhale particles, small particles, that can lodge deep in the lung, like wildfire smoke particles, that can cause more airway inflammation. The smoke was higher in the atmosphere than normal yesterday, so when the sun filtered through, that's what caused the skies to glow that crazy orange color. So if the smoke does settle closer to the ground today, we will not see that Halloween-like glow again today, but it does mean much more unhealthy air. Live on Treasure Island, Katie Nielsen, KPIX 5.